Kaizen is a Japanese philosophy, business philosophy of continuous improvement. We have a lot of good examples there, so I'm sharing this with you today. ध्यान से सुनिए कि हमारे जीवन में कैजन को कैसे अप्लाई करना है हाउ विल वी डेवलप दिस वन इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग टू लर्न हियर यू नो द टेक्निक ऑफ डेवलपमेंट जापान व्हेन वी वर डूइंग मैनेजमेंट वी लर्न दिस जापानीज मैनेजमेंट सो जापान आफ्टर द सेकंड वर्ल्ड वॉर यू वुड हैव रेड इट वाज डेवस्टेटेड कंप्लीटली डिस्ट्रॉयड मिलियंस ऑफ जापानीज वर किल्ड the infrastructure was destroyed cities were destroyed you know two cities hiroshima and nagasaki they were atom bombed and vaporized terrible condition it was occupied by the americans within 20 years japan was a rising economy in the world within 30 years it was one of the top economies of the world until today it is one of the top economies of the world how how 1947 when india became independent at that time japan had just come out of the second world war 1945 second world war was over 1947 if you see condition of japan if you see condition of india actually india was better condition of india was better within 30 years reversed japan is at the top we are somewhere how so one of the things which i learned from them is a well known system but we can apply to our own lives what is the system it is called quality circle and incremental improvement you write down this word only kaizen k a i z e n kaizen now i'm not going to teach you about quality management i'm going to teach you about how to apply kaizen in your own life kaizen k a i z e n kaizen what does it mean incremental improvement small improvement what they do is in japan schools offices and of course industries once in a week or once in two weeks they will sit together in one department suppose they will sit in a circle it's called a quality circle what will they do just day for yesterday somebody was talking about it quality circle what do they do they take up an issue suppose we are in this university and um, in the office maybe so we are working in the office or teachers common room what should we do everybody has to give one small suggestion it should not involve spending large amount of money it should not make a big difference a big change small change only but you have to suggest something so somebody may suggest our desks are dirty so why not all of us when we come for our work we will have a piece of cloth just two seconds we will clean the desk this very tiny suggestion another one may suggest little flower plant we should maintain in the building flower pots and such person will have duty of looking after it like this everybody will give one suggestion and it has to be implemented and these are small suggestions very cheap easy to implement imagine after one week so many changes will be there after one month so many changes will be there in that office or in that college after one year how that college will look how that university will look imagine little little changes every week everybody is making changes little improvement just a little improvement not a big improvement not an expensive improvement just a little improvement this incremental change slowly over the years it makes a vast difference in quality vast difference in quality that is visible those who have visited japan i have not but all are impressed recently our prime minister i think also visited japan so swami vivekananda when he went to chicago before that he stopped in japan and he was so impressed he wrote in a letter i wish our young men and women our young people they should visit japan and see and we can translate this we can transfer this learning to our own country so kaizen now how to implement kaizen in our own lives i saw something some 16 17 years ago in deoghar in that school where i was teaching one gentleman a management consultant came and he showed us how to apply kaizen in our daily lives what he showed us i have never forgotten and i will show it to you today you will also never forget in your lives but only one thing you have to do what i tell you to do are you ready ah uh, you are asleep you are ready then you have to do one thing you have to sit straight sit straight just do what i tell you to do 
sit straight now raise both your hands raise your hands even higher little more okay put your hands down that's all what happened something very interesting happened when i asked you to raise your hands you all raised your hands when i asked you to raise a little more all of you raised a little more which means the first time you did not raise it to the maximum possible extent and this is a great thing about human psychology whatever we do we do not do it to the full extent we can do we do not do it to the fullest possible extent maybe little children primary school children they are very enthusiastic if you tell them to raise their hands they will raise fully <laughs> but as we grow a little older we always do a little less whatever our capacity we do 70% 60% of that more is remaining capacity and this is not a bad thing this is a sign of hope it means that that consultant told us it means every day i can i can actually do my studies a little better what i am doing now right now i can do a little better because i am not doing up to my maximum extent my feelings for others I, it can be a little better because what i am doing right now is not the maximum capacity that i have got my work your studies your work in the house and in the university whatever you are doing definitely it can be a little better because you are not doing the maximum that you can do now so every day improve how much kaizen a little bit you have that capacity and you cannot keep on stretching indefinitely there is a limit but there is no limit to our abilities to think creatively there is no limit to our abilities of feeling and there is no limit to the perfection we can get in work so the development of the head the heart and the hand every day apply kaizen to yourself when you get up in the morning you make a vow today my thinking my studying will be a little better how it will be a little better you think you know which which place you are lacking particularly you know so what i can do a little better second thing is my feelings for others sympathy for others will be little better than what it was yesterday and little better only and my work the work that i do will be a little better than what i did yesterday not only one day daily if you do this you will feel the difference in 6 days by next week you will feel the difference you will be happier your productivity will be more people will notice what has happened to this person oh he went to ramakrishna mission for <laughs> attending a value education workshop so apply kaizen to your lives let us apply this incremental improvement small improvement one senior swami told us very interesting what difference should you make in your life don't make a big difference it's very difficult to to sustain a big difference in life it's easier to sustain a small difference he told us in hindi nyuntam se shuru karo saraltam ka abhyas karo start with the smallest practice the easiest what should i do start with the smallest practice the easiest whether it is studies or feelings or work whatever i am doing now the next improvement make the smallest step take the smallest step take the easiest step if you start with the smallest and practice the easiest your mind will never tell you that you cannot do it if you start do something very big your mind itself will sabotage you it will say that you cannot do this i cannot we do this what small step your mind has to agree yes i can do it so start with the smallest practice the easiest 